rise across the valley. Cars being targeted for a valuable part, one that could bring thieves a lot of money and leave you with a major repair cost. So all new for you this morning, Joe lets you know why your car is at risk and what you can do about it. It's an employee parking lot in Mesa and surveillance video shows a van that should not be here. They positioned themselves well next to my car that they did not look suspicious. The van parks next to Natasha's SUV, shielding it from both sides. If you look closely, you see a person leave through the back door. It's a thief, and what they're stealing under the car won't be known until later. In less than two minutes, it's done, and the van takes off. After work, when Natasha tried to drive away... It's just loud. It's like my muffler fell off. Her husband found it wasn't the muffler. He looked underneath the car and he said they chopped your catalytic converter off. Crime is big across the country and in Arizona, with many police departments taking notice, tracking the thefts as a separate category. Since January 1st, Goodyear says they've seen 49 thefts. In Chandler, 139 thefts or attempted thefts reported, and in Tempe, 337 incidents. Other departments like Phoenix Police and Mesa say they've also seen increases but don't have the data available. So why are these catalytic converters such a target? I would say an average cat in today's current climate that a thief steals is worth a couple hundred dollars. Mike Pearson is CEO and president of Arizona Auto Parts, a registered auto reseller. He says catalytic converters aren't usually resold as parts. Federal law prohibits it. Instead, they're melted down for their small amounts of precious metals. And then there's the cost to you. Where to replace it, you're looking at, depending on the vehicle, 800 to 1200 Pearson says there are ways to make your converter less desirable, like etching your vehicle identification number on it. It can be traced. And spray painting it another color. There are also converter shields. They can cost a couple of hundred dollars, but if thieves see them on higher profile SUVs and trucks they target, they may just move on. Natasha has her own advice for owners. If you can, always park backing into your spot so your front end is towards the traffic. That way, it would be easier to see the thieves and mix up the parking spot you choose. She feels her car was watched and targeted because of where she parks. Always kind of switch it out. So if you recognize the van or the driver, contact Mesa Police before these thieves end up in your parking lot. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know and find out more about this crime. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know.